I just wanted to get on here real quick and talk about thread up. Okay, I was gonna make this whole video going through the start and the finish of my process sending a box to thread up. This is not my first time sending a box to thread up. It's actually my third time, but I haven't sent one in like over two years. And the reason why I sent a box to thread up is because some of the stuff that I bought, I didn't think buy, sell, buy, sell trade stores would take. And I just got tired of it sitting in my closet. So I was like, you know what? Let me send the thread up because I sent them good condition things that were just like style based, lackluster, like nothing that would be like popping on like Poshmark, eBay, Macari. And I bought these things because um, I did like a flea market. Um, back in the summer and these were some of the things that didn't sell that the buy sell trade store didn't take and um some things that just been sitting in my closet for a while but anyway so i sent them my box on september the 11th or 12th they got it on the 14th um per their terms and conditions or schedule when you order a box they charge you 14.99 fee but it can come out your earnings you can send up to 30 pounds and i sent 24 pounds which is the largest box that i ever sent and i also um what else i also sent oh and they said it was going to take four to six weeks once they received it to process it my four to six weeks has been up and every day that i go on the app they keep on pushing it back further and further and further as of today, they said it was going to be done uh, November 28th, which is after Thanksgiving. I reached out to them maybe like two weeks before because I'm like, okay, you're charging me $14.99 plus you're taking commission and you told me it was going to take four to six weeks to process my box and make my items live, which they're still not live. I want a partial refund. She says, the chat box says, reach out at a later time once your box is processed to ask for a refund. Now that time has passed and whenever they get around to making my items live, I'm gonna ask for a full refund because you didn't meet your end of the bargain. And I feel like that's bad business. And if you know that you're already behind, and I, I have this gripe with a lot of companies, um, I just had the situation with a car dealership that they told me it was going to take them 48 hours to diagnose it. And it took them nearly a week to diagnose my car. If you know you're not going to meet your deadline, don't make it available for people to send in your boxes. Put a disclaimer in there saying that we're behind schedule. Reduce the fee. Because I'm not sure if it's the same for if you do the premium box. I just did the regular box um, because I'm like four to six weeks. That's nothing. But you charging people and you said this is your time frame and you're not, you know, holding up your end of the bargain. So hopefully, um, I don't even know what today is. I think today is the 8th or the 9th. So watch out for my next video on when ThreadUp finally processes my box. So buyer beware fyi if you plan on sending thread up a box and you plan on doing the regular a uh, handle time just fyi i'm not sure like i said i'm not sure if it's the same for the premium boxes because of course you pay more and it's supposed to be a shorter time frame but just giving y'all heads up okay bye